In the modern lighting world, it has become nearly impossible to simply turn on a DMX lighting fixture or to test its functions without the use of a lighting console and a console operator. The DMX Cat makes it easy for anyone to control, analyze, or test any DMX lighting fixture, whether it's a simple LED PAR or a complex moving light. The DMX Cat system is comprised of a small dongle and a suite of free mobile apps which are installed on a user's smartphone. The DMX Cat dongle and the user's smartphone communicate wirelessly using Bluetooth 4.0 technology. With a working range of 50 feet or more and without being physically connected, users can move about the workspace and use various apps while still using the phone for on-the-job communication. The charge on the DMX Cat's battery will last over 20 hours and is recharged using a standard USB to micro USB cable and charger. The unit ships with a charging cable, 5-pin mail turnaround, and a belt clip with a safety point. Easily carried in a pocket, worn on a belt, or in the optional tool pouch, the compact and lightweight device is connected to any point in a DMX chain using its 5-pin XLR female connector. DMX Cat works with both Android and iPhone, and the app can be downloaded for free from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. The suite of apps includes DMX Controller, Fixture Controller, DMX Tester, RDM Controller, Dip Switch Calculator, and in the Android version only, Light Meter and RF Spectrum Analyzer. To begin using the DMX Cat, you'll need to pair your phone with the dongle. Note your serial number on the back of your DMX Cat. Turn on your app and turn on your dongle. Go to Settings and Device List. Your dongle will be shown. Choose it and you're linked. Your phone and dongle will link automatically after this. Now let's take a closer look at the individual apps. We'll start with the RDM controller. The RDM controller allows bi-directional communication between the fixture and the app, and the DMX Cat does this in an innovative and useful way. First, we'll connect to an ETC Luster Plus. When I load my RDM controller, the fixture is identified wirelessly, and its personality and starting DMX address are shown. The fixture is an ETC Luster Plus, its starting DMX address is 1, and its personality is Quick General 10 Channel. By drilling into RDM and into sensors, I can also see any other RDM information the fixture is reporting back. From the RDM controller, I can perform other RDM functions. I'll do an RDM identify. This would be used to identify the fixture while it's hanging in your lighting rig. I can also change the device label. I'll change it to Balcony Rail 17. The starting DMX address is 1. I'll change that to 236. Now when I hit DMX, the fixture's user interface will automatically load and I can control it. The dimmer is on page 2. And I'll take out the white, green, and blue, leaving the red up. Now let's see a more complicated setup. Here are three RDM-capable fixtures daisy-chained together. When I select RDM, it finds all three and identifies them by type, starting address, and personality. I'll do an RDM identify of one of the MAC auras. Then I'll take control of it by hitting DMX. Now I have the exact user interface for a 14-channel personality. Dimmer, pan, tilt, zoom. I'll take out the green, blue, and white, leaving the red up. The DMX Cat, for the first time, really unlocks the full potential of RDM. Even the very best and most expensive professional lighting consoles don't do this. In fact, no other device in the world does this. Not every fixture speaks RDM, but a growing number do, and for those that do, this is an amazingly useful tool. We can gain control of non-RDM fixtures in our Fixture Controller app. The DMX Cat utilizes a database of over 100 worldwide lighting manufacturers and thousands of lighting fixtures and their personalities, just like a sophisticated lighting console. This is a non-RDM fixture, a GLP X4 XL. We'll launch the fixture controller and find this fixture in the database. Manufacturer is GLP. Fixture type is moving head. Fixture model is impression X4 XL. I need to look at the fixture to find its personality and DMX address. 
Personality is mode 2, compressed 16 channel, and starting DMX address is 1. I can save this information to my favorite so I never have to type it into the database again. When I press next, the fixture's exact user interface is loaded into my phone and I can control it with the encoder wheels. Pan, tilt, dimmer, I'll fade out the green, blue, and white. Zoom. Up in the corner of this menu, I have a link directly to this fixture's manual online, the manufacturer's website, the City Theatrical website, and I can also send an email directly to City Theatrical to report bugs, ask a question, or make a suggestion. The DMX controller offers simple control of a 512 slot DMX universe. In the setup screen, you can choose to show levels as a percentage, which is 1 to 100, or as a decimal, which is 1 to 255. You can choose whether you want the DMX controller to have sliders or a keypad interface. This is a great tool to use for simple lighting fixtures that don't have complex personalities. Let's plug in a City Theatrical LED dimmer. We know it has four channels, red, green, blue, and amber, and we know it's starting DMX address. Here's how it looks if you choose sliders. Red, green, blue, and amber. And here's how it looks if you choose keypad view. I'll bring dimmer 1 to full. When using the keypad, you can also toggle through DMX slots by using the arrow keys. You can also save a look as a preset, give it a name, and recall it later. With the DMX tester, I can analyze the DMX itself. I can connect my DMX cat to the output of the lighting controller by using the male to male turnaround that comes with the DMX cat. Let's look into this DMX cable by using the view levels function. I can see the DMX levels in this line changing in real time. I can also look into the DMX packets by using the analyze DMX function. Here are the statistics of the main elements of the DMX packet. Any items out of conformance to the DMX standard are flagged in red. There's also a flicker finder function, and I can also use the transmit DMX mode to vary the elements of the DMX packet in order to perform DMX troubleshooting. On the dip switch calculator, you can flip the display left and right and up and down to align the calculator with your fixture. To set the DMX address to 279, you type 279, and the DMX cat tells you to set switches 1, 2, 3, 5, and 9 to on. The last two apps are for Android only, simply because the iPhone does not have the hardware to support them. The light meter reads light levels in Lux and foot candles. The spectrum analyzer reads the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi area of the spectrum. We use this for planning our wireless DMX installations, and it's always good to be aware of what radio energy is in the spectrum around you. Other features include a built-in flashlight and an audible device finder for locating a misplaced unit. The DMX Cat allows anyone with a smartphone to be able to turn on any DMX lighting fixture, as well as perform a wide range of tests and DMX analysis. DMX Cat will be your favorite lighting tool because it's easy to operate and you'll always have it with you. Thank you.